Well, I'm Alan Dale from Gale Force Winds, and I want to tell you it's great to be here at DefSec 2024 at their uh, annual podcast sponsored by our good friends here at Cisco. Uh, I'm really enjoying the conversations. Uh, a lot of good things are happening, real positive energy. People are willing to collaborate, share ideas, all for the benefit of everybody. So uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Certainly, my name's Alex Crandall. I'm a system engineer with Veeam Software, and I'm based out of, actually, Halifax. And I help companies with their data protection recovery strategies, be it from small scale deployments and remote locations, all the way to full data center recovery and orchestrating a, a clean recovery to make sure that files are intact. They're not going to reintroduce anything bad into your environment and you can have confidence in bringing, bringing those back up. And the name of the company is Veeam. Correct. Tell me a little bit about the company. So Veeam has been around since the early 2000s primarily focused originally on virtualization and VMware, but over the years that's expanded out to physical as well as different hypervisors like Hyper-V, uh, Nutanix, Red Hat, Oracle, more recently Proxmox, as well as containerized workloads, so Kubernetes, and there's many different flavors of Kubernetes along with that, uh, and into the public clouds as well. So any of your big, uh, I call them big three, but your Googles, Amazons, AWSs, we support workloads in there as well. Okay, and so really this is all about protecting your data and should something happen with it, recovering that data, right? Exactly. Canadian company? Uh, we're out of the U.S. Out of the U.S. Yeah. With uh, offices here in Canada. Uh, we Yeah, we have a, a, an office in Toronto. Okay, an office in Toronto, but you're based out of Halifax. I am indeed. Great. It was a what, short commute for me this morning, other than the traffic. <laughs> what uh, What are your goals here for DevSec? Really, we want to connect with, obviously, we do some work with us, uh, existing clients here, but meeting new clients and understanding their needs, requirements, and how we can help them achieve their goals. Right. I would assume at a company like yours, um, you really are glad that you got into a relationship when something goes wrong. Yeah. We, <laughs> what I always tell people is, we're a part of a larger strategy, but we're kind of that crown jewel. So when something really bad happens, we're, we're that in case of emergency break glass. Right. So that's where when I was talking about making sure that your data is you know intact, recoverable, and not maybe infected, that's really kind of where the rubber hits the road when it comes to those like serious incidents. So being able to have documentation and ensure that, well, I know I was hit by XYZ, bad file, actor, whatever, bringing that back and be able to scan and make sure I can go back and say, well, we didn't, through our scanning, we have figured out that, oh, that wasn't there a week and a half ago. So you can have confidence in recovering from that point and get your organization back up and running. What's the ideal client look like for you? Really, the nice thing about what we do is we're all software defined. So you can scale from you know protecting a couple workloads all the way up to, I think one of our largest customers has tens of thousands of workloads that they protect with us. Wow. So you can size it to fit in whatever environment you want. And a lot of organizations don't just have one central location. Like if we're talking about defense, there's you know, assets out in the Atlantic Ocean. Maybe they don't have a lot of connectivity to send data back to their central site, but you need to be able to ensure that that data is still protected regardless. And then, you know, any remote locations overseas. I work with a lot of customers that have very limited connectivity. When I say that, we might be like satellite connectivity, cell connectivity. So being able to manage that data remotely and on site becomes a, an interesting challenge to overcome. This is great to have you on the show and I uh, wish you much success here at DevSec. Thanks for uh, bringing us into your world, which is fascinating. It's uh, ever changing and ever expanding and you know the, the threats of yesterday aren't the threats of tomorrow. So you got to be able to adapt and ensure that whatever you're doing can grow with your organization and continue to protect you in the future. There you go, crown jewel, make sure you get it.